this is our kickoff event, a women's resource fair, and it's part of the work that myself and my colleagues Rosario Basai and Margaret Cox are doing um, to try to bring a women's center to campus. Um, President Sprague has granted us a presidential fellowship for the year, academic year. And um, right now we're doing a bunch of research um, in trying to get information from students, faculty, and staff to hear their ideas on um, what should a women's center be like on campus, why do we need one, why is it an important service. So uh, today is sort of our first um, live presence on the campus because we've spent most of the semester um, researching different women's centers and looking at um, what are kind of mission statements that other women's centers are uh, using, what are their guiding principles, what do they use their women's center for, and how does it help as a retention um, mechanism for, for students on campus. So um, today's event uh, is we've invited um, several on-campus and local resources with particular interest uh, to women, such as uh, Planned Parenthood from the area, uh, Coalition for Social Justice, uh, Fall River Wick. So we have lots of um, uh, collaborators from off campus. And we also have from on campus um, the Domestic Violence Club, the Parents Club, um, the, Fall River, the BCC Campus Police. Um, so we have all kinds of neat people here today. Um, the Office of Student Life uh, provided refreshments for us so people can you know, enjoy themselves as they walk around. We have a big board in the back um, asking people to write and draw their ideas for what a women's center should be and just kind of building awareness um, that we're trying to do this and uh, getting people's ideas to help us really build it as a grassroots effort. So. This uh, project that is long overdue at the college and I do believe, you know, and I think that we share that belief with Denise DiMarcio and Margaret Cox, the other um, fellows for the center, that um, female students um, are in a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of certain conditions. You know, and, and that happens not only for women at BCC, but I think for women in general in society. You know, we face uh, labor market discrimination that still exists in the United States, even though it's a, um, a phenomenon has been decreasing over time, you know, but still is present, you know, and we need to attack that um, the, that discrimination. You know? So, I believe that female students, for example, here graduate and will face a labor market that won't be that inviting, and so they need to have a special um, education, not only academic, but in other areas, uh, to prepare themselves to face that discrimination in several ways.